How to Pick Your Dragon from DreamWorks Dragons Chief Stoic was a proud leader. He did everything the Viking way. But sometimes the Viking way was the hard way. His son, Hiccup, knew another way. It was the dragon way. Dragons could help make life easier. Hiccup convinced Stoic to learn how to fly a dragon. Hiccup and his dragon, Toothless, offered to teach Stoic to ride. Stoic was eager to learn. Whoa, Dad, Hiccup said. Before you ride, you have to show the dragon that he can trust you. Hiccup placed Stoic's hand on Toothless's snout. Toothless closed his eyes and lowered his head. It was a sign of trust. Stoic was eager for the next lesson. He jumped onto Toothless's back and took off into the sky. Hiccup warned Stoic to go slowly, but he didn't listen. Hiccup frowned. His dad had a lot to learn. The next morning, Hiccup couldn't find Toothless. He looked all over for him. At last, Stoic appeared. Stoic was riding toothless. Stoic was excited. We've been all over the village, Stoic said. With toothless, being chief has never been so easy. But Dad, Hiccup said, toothless is my dragon. You can't just take him. Stoic looked thoughtful. All right. So find me a dragon of my own, Stoic replied. Hiccup took Stoic to the Dragon Training Academy. Hiccup's friends were eager to help the chief pick a dragon. Snoutlout brought out Hookfang. He is a monstrous nightmare, the only dragon strong enough for big men like us, he told the chief. Next. Astrid showed off her dragon, Stormfly. Just because she is beautiful, it doesn't mean she's not tough, Astrid said. Finally, Fishlux introduced his dragon, Meatlug. How could you not love a gronkle? he asked Stoic. Stoic liked all the dragons, but he couldn't find one he liked as much as Toothless. Suddenly, a message arrived for Chief Stoic. It said that one of his fishing boats was in trouble. Stoic and Hiccup hopped onto Toothless's back and flew to the rescue. The fishing boat was under attack by a thunder drum dragon. He was stealing the Viking's fish. Stoic fought the thunder drum and captured him. He was very impressed by the dragon's strength. This is the one, Hiccup. I've found my dragon, Stoic said. Stoic brought the thunder drum back to the dragon training academy. Then he asked Hiccup to help train his new dragon. Be gentle, Dad. Remember, he has to trust you, Hiccup said. But Stoic didn't listen. He and the thunder drum fought and fought until the thunder drum escaped. Stoic and Hiccup tracked the dragon to a cave far away. Another dragon was there too. There, they discovered that this thunder drum had a secret. The dragon's friend was hurt. He's trying to help his friend, Stoic said. That's why he took our fish. Stoic sent Hiccup to get help for the wounded dragon. As soon as Hiccup left, a pack of wild boars charged the cave. It was up to Stoic and the thunder drum to fight them. Stoic gently placed his hand on the thunder drum's snout. I want to help. Trust me, he told the dragon. The thunder drum closed his eyes and lowered his head. Again, it was a sign of trust. Stoic took off the dragon's muzzle, then climbed onto its back. They fought the wild boars as a team, and they won!
Later, Hiccup returned with help for the wounded dragon. By that time, Stoic and the Thunder Drum were old friends. Look at us, we've bonded, Stoic said. Hiccup smiled. His dad had just learned an important lesson. The Viking way could also be the dragon way. The end.